Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for Boxing News and Views from around the internet. Results roundup video covering three of the fights from the IBA Champions Night, two of which we'll cover more in depth. The third featured a heavyweight fight with uh, a couple of uh, well-known amateurs. We won't get so much into that one, but we'll note the result. But the two fights that we will cover... The long-awaited return of Magomedrazo Majidov, the three-time world champion. He was facing Nur Sultan Amanzolov. And then you had Jackson Murray, the Australian prospect, against Solomon Adebayo of Nigeria. So the first fight, Majidov. So he, obviously, three-time world champion, famously known for outpointing Anthony Joshua in 2011. He took, that was his first world championship, went on to win two more, the last of um, being in 2017. Kind of some fanfare when he turned over, Matchroom picked him up, press releases, there was expectations. And then he had a really bad ankle injury in a fight against Andre Fedosov. This is three years ago, or three and a bit years ago and changed now. And he hasn't been cited since, dropped from Matchroom, and he turns up on this IBA Champions Night card. So this event was in Azerbaijan, and Majidov is Azerbaijani. So uh, he's been given an opportunity here for a comeback, and at, what, 37, 38 years old, I was interested to see, well, what's he got left? Because... When he turned over, he turned over quite late. Um, so there was a question about how much he could do, and he'd need to have a condensed period of his prospect phase before getting to something, but then derailed by that ankle injury. Against Nur Sultan Amanzolov, 31 years old, from Kazakhstan. He's been a very popular sparring partner in recent years. He sparred with Alexander Usyk multiple times and helped him prepare for fights. He was actually... Um, Starting the fight, you know, not too bad. There were a couple of right hands that landed in the second round for him, a bit of success. But what you had early on from Majidov was applying uh, concerted uh, pressure, you know, smart pressure, landing a lot of shots in the opening round to the body, a right hand to the body. And as the fight wore on, he started to really break down Nurse Sultan Amanzolov. You know, his applied pressure was really um, backing up Amanzolov to the ropes, to the corners. I think there was also a part of it that the uh, Kazakh fighter was opting to fight on the back foot and allowing to be pushed back a bit. But he was just walking into Majidov's uh, traps quite often. He, there was a lot of left hands starting to come in, right crosses that were really hitting the target. And after round two, you really have had Majidov stepping it up and landing all sorts of shots and really starting to um, break the spirit of Amanzolov. And you saw that he was beginning to feel a little bit sorry for himself, but he obviously is a very tough guy soaking up all sorts of punishment from Majidov. There were moments of success here and there. I mean, in the fifth round, a couple of decent left hooks that he landed on Majidov. But you had a case that was pretty much, for the most part, after the first round. It was pretty much all Majidov all the time, especially rounds three, four, and five. This was a six-rounder, so I think luckily for Amanzolov, I think if this had been eight rounds or maybe even ten, probably would have got broken down and stopped. Probably a little bit too tough for his own good. Both these guys had cuts sustained in the fight. Uh, the first one was Majidov in round three, unsure if he actually sustained that from a head clash or a punch. But um, Amanzolov, it was definitely from a head clash. But he was getting busted up. You know, The nose was looking worse for wear. A little bit of blood from the mouth as well. Also, you know, from his cut. So you had a situation that by the end of this fight, he was looking pretty worse for wear. And it was a good return for Majidov after, you know, the storied amateur career, the stalled pro career. He comes back in 2024 at, what, 37, 38 years old and has a pretty good first outing back. The ankle didn't look too much of a problem. And he, for the most part, I thought looked pretty good in there. Certainly ready for a step up from this level of competition. Amanzolov is a decent um, sort of yardstick for a comeback fight like this. But Majidov with the pedigree, and if he's looking to do anything in the heavyweight division, he needs to be stepping up a bit further and obviously a bit faster. Because he def if he doesn't, all of a sudden he'll be close to 40 and who knows what will happen. Um, 
Nurse Alton Amonzolov, he can come again, but I think he'll be put into that opponent type category. Previously, he had been beaten by Lazabek Mulijanov. He was the Olympic gold medalist in the heavyweight division. You had Bakadir Jalilov winning gold in the super heavyweight, but uh, Mulijanov starched him in a round in 2023. I mean, keep an eye out for Mulijanov. But in terms of Majidov, yeah, decent performance, good comeback fight, three years of ring rust to, to break off, and he was really going after it at times especially after he sort of uh, got a, a bit of a sighter in on Amonzolov. Jackson Murray so he gets a split decision against Solomon Adebayo so Jackson Murray heading into this fight 6-0 and oh. you had Solomon Adebayo he 14-0 and oh. uh, Murray who can switch hit he was fighting Southpaw pretty much exclusively in this fight big height and reach advantage but it wasn't necessarily in advantages that he was really utilizing that much. I actually think, if you saw this fight, and tell me what you think, I think Murray was lucky to get the win here. It was a split decision win. I couldn't understand what the cards were obviously in Azerbaijani, but it was the result was read out in English as a split decision win for Murray. I thought he was very lucky because you had Solomon Adebayo basically for five or six rounds of the fight he was the guy that was applying pressure, taking risk, and sometimes like literally leaping in, and sometimes to his own detriment. But he was catching Jackson Murray pulling back, you know, straight back, and he was catching up with Murray quite frequently. And the harder, effective, clean punching in this fight was coming from Adebayo. The biggest shots came from Je uh, Solomon Adebayo in this fight. Uh, and I actually had him up by a couple of rounds. If you turn one of those rounds around, it would be a draw on my card. But when it was read out as Jackson Murray, I thought, I wonder what the, the actual you know cards were. Obviously, he's got a split decision win here. But I thought he was a little bit too passive with the jab. He didn't really sort of make Sam, um, Solomon Adebayo pay when he was trying to come in. Or, and the jab wasn't really a weapon that he was looking to deploy all that often when he did throw it it looked decent but most of the time a little bit pouring a little bit of a range finder wasn't really using it to deter Solomon Adebayo so I think he will be a little feel a little bit aggrieved by the result and he sort of sunk to his knees on the canvas as the result was read out but for Jackson Murray yeah it was a it was an okay performance but I didn't think he was doing enough there was a lot of especially in this fight periods where there were just lulls in the action. Jackson Murray sort of bouncing on the, you know, the toes of his feet, you know, fainting, foot faints, head faints, both these guys sort of staring at each other, not doing a lot. So some of the rounds were somewhat low volume. And sometimes I thought it came down to who landed the bigger punches in the round. And often that was Solomon Adebayo. So yeah, I think Jackson Murray might've got away with one in this one, just my opinion. I didn't think he fought fantastic. I mean, you had Solomon Adebayo, who was all risk and trying to go for the knockout and really land something hurtful. He was coming into this one with quite a few knockouts under his belt. 13 of his 14 wins had been by way of, but obviously the, op the opponent's not great on his record. So Jackson Murray, he advances. A little bit shaky, gets the win though. So I guess for him, that's all that counts. What did you make of that result? Also on this card, you, you had the Olympian uh, Muhammad Abdullayev. Uh, he was facing uh, another amateur, Christian Saucedo. So this was a split decision to the hometown fighter, Muhammad Abdullayev. So some people may think that it should have gone the other way. I just uh, kept tabs on this, didn't watch it as closely, got the results. Uh, these guys still playing their trade in the amateurs, but um, so I didn't pay as much attention, but I thought I'd also note the result given they were heavyweights. So, yeah, I thought it was a good return for Majidov after that horrific injury in 2021, that ankle, because he got knocked down and it was when he was going down, he hurt the ankle and basically couldn't put any weight on it. And we haven't seen hide nor hair of him in three years. And for Jackson Murray, maybe he's got a little bit lucky with this one, but he continues to hold that O and moves on in the heavyweight division. If you caught the action, what'd you make of it? And if you haven't seen it, it is on YouTube. Just put an IBA Champions Night. You'll be able to find it on YouTube. Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.